Okay, so I'm in the Tesla and I'm about to pick up a ton of dolomite. I thought I'd just do a quick video on how the car carries the weight and how the fuel efficiency goes or the electron efficiency goes once you pick up that much weight. So first off, we'll head into the sand and metal place. We'll weigh on the way in, weigh on the way out, and then we'll do roughly a 17 kilometer journey and see what efficiency we get. Now this car's rated to tow a ton. That's obviously meant to include the trailer, so we'll see how we go. Let's weigh in. So we're 2.14 ton with the car and trailer and nothing in it. Let's load up. Okay, so we've loaded up. You can see the car didn't really bounce much at all there. It, uh, it didn't take much notice to it. And I haven't noticed much difference in towing. I'm about to get on the way bridge. Let's see how much we've got. Nine hundred and fifty kilo. Okay, so I've put in the address of where I'm going. It's 15 kilometers away, 21 minutes, some 50 kilometer an hour roads, some 100 kilometer an hour road some 80 so it's a variable uh, mix at 15 kilometers away I would expect this trailer alone empty to use 30 kilometers worth of power so um, so it'll be interesting to see how we go if it's any different to normal or if it's very different to an empty trailer right away obviously I can feel that there's a bit more weight behind the regenerative braking but besides that it's towing as nice as you'd expect. Considering it's at maximum capacity, it doesn't feel it. Anyway, so I'll show you now the screen. So you can see it's uh, 14 kilometers away now, and that's the distance I've got left, 187 kilometers. So it's 14 kilometers away, I've got 187 kilometers worth of distance. So when we get to the destination, we'll have a look at how much we have left, and it'll be interesting to see if it's taken off more than 30 kilometers, or if it's just the same as an empty trailer. So I've just had a couple stop and go moments here where, you know, people pulling out, etc. And it's probably one of the first times I've hit the brakes on the Tesla. Comparative to an exhaust brake, the electric motor just regenerates the power back into the batteries, charging them batteries. So uh, it's unusual to hit the brakes. And just out of curiosity, I hit the brakes hard to see how it went. And, it, you know, it still pulled up, no worries. So, you know maybe uh, another 500 kilo that might be a different story but with a full one ton on it no dramas it's probably also worth mentioning and i don't know about the legalities of it but the car still drives on its own even towing so at the moment you can see the car's got the two lanes it's detecting the bridge on the left it's holding the speed as per the speed sign and it will tell you as the cars go past so another thing uh, is obviously the takeoff. Can it handle the speed? Is it a slug with all this weight? I'm about to pull onto an 80 kilometer an hour road. So what I'll do is I'll pull over to zero and uh, give it a, a zero to 80 or, you know, thereabouts. And I'll just put the phone on the speedometer so you can see how fast she goes. All right, pulled up to a stop. Speedo's right here. Let's go. So I would say that's far from its regular speed. It can really get up and boogie comparative to even V8s. This car can really fly. So that was quite slow, but nonetheless, with a ton of weight, it was pretty quick. All right, I'm onto the 100K an hour road now. That'll be the home stretch, and then we'll check out the economy. Okay, so I just arrived at the destination. Let's have a look at how much charge I... Right here, 154 kilometers left. 
So that is exactly what I would expect if I just had that trailer empty. So that tells me that this car cares a lot more about wind resistance than it does weight. It can pull it like there's no tomorrow. It brakes relatively easily, although it is unusual using the brakes in a car that you normally don't. But when it comes to wind resistance, it hates it. You put a big box trailer back there, you'll feel it. You put a caravan back there, you'll feel it. Anything that is not streamlined is gonna really draw down your kilometers to go. Anyway, I thought it would be an interesting video to make. I hope you learned something out of it. Thanks for watching.